Welcome to video 38 in series 3 and in this video I'll implement a main menu. Alright, so what I want is a main menu scene and from that scene there's a UI, you click a button and then you go to the game scene and then you can play the game. So what I should do is uh, just make it easy, just duplicate this scene here, gtgds3, and I'll just call it main menu. And now I'll open it up, so just make sure it's open. And I'll delete the player and get rid of any stuff I don't need. So just get rid of all that. I don't need that at all. Turn on the main camera. And I don't need that either. A canvas menu. I don't need that. Okay. So I'm going to add in a, a new UI. And it's just going to be a, first of all, a canvas. I'll just call this canvas main menu. Then I'll add in a panel, and in my panel, so I'll leave it stretch, I'll leave it to fill the screen, uh, but I will do something a little different just in a moment. Let me just add a uh, grid layout group, so grid layout group, okay, and my canvas too, I want it to scale uh, with the screen size, 1920 by 1080. And just change it to 0.5. Okay, now my panel will be good. Uh, as for the grid layout group, a cell size like 500, 100, say 20 or 15. Now I'll add some buttons. So UI button. And again, another button. Alright, and then let me go back, make sure uh, it's going vertical. Middle center, whoops, wrong one, middle, yep, middle center. Okay, and I'll make that 700, I want it a bit bigger. Going back to the buttons, the text, make sure they're uh, best fit for the text. Alright, now for the buttons, I'll call them different things. This will be button play game. Uh, this one and the text will be play game. The other one will be button exit, and the text will be exit. All right. Now for the panel, I don't want the color here obscuring the background, so I'll just click on the color and set the alpha right down. Okay, and there we go. So uh, that's pretty much set up. Now I need to have a script. So uh, I'll have I'll attach it to something. I'll just create a uh, a game object here just for the sake of holding my main menu script. And I'll call it main menu this game object. All right. I'll uh, I'll before I make the script, I'll actually adjust my build settings as well, so I don't forget. So file build settings. So currently I have this in the build settings. Uh, so I'll remove that. So I'm going to remove the chapter 1 uh, and just get rid of it. Oops, there we go, that's better. And uh, I'll add the current and I'll also add in S3. So that's scene 1 and the menu scene is scene 0. Okay, so now I'll go ahead and make the script. I'm just going to make a new folder. I'll just call it General Scripts. Inside of it, I'll make a new one, a create C sharp script, and I'll call this main menu. Oh, without the spaces, of course. Okay, with that done, I'll make sure to attach it so I don't forget. Open it up. Alright, as usual, the save options change that. And namespace. Okay. So I'm going to have some public methods. I guess two public methods for restarting, oh sorry, for playing the game and for exiting the game. And I don't need these. I'll just get rid of them. So public void play game I'll just do application dot load level there it 
is load level and it can take uh, all at once a index for that level and that index is one as you saw in the build settings list okay and then next public void exit game and this is pretty easy it's just application dot quit okay that's nice and easy all right so that's it for this main menu script i'll head back now I need to assign it to those buttons. So if I go here, there is these on-click uh, call over here. And for the button play game, I'm going to assign uh, the main menu for that. So let me just add a uh, option here. Okay, so I'll just drag in the main menu game object here. And then now I need to select which method inside of it. So it's main menu and it's play game. Easy. And then the same thing for a button exit. I'll just grab the main menu there and change the method to exit game. You can only exit from the built game in the editor. If you uh, click on exit, nothing will happen. So I'll just save that. If I hit play now, I can hit play game. And there you go. It took me to uh, the uh, game scene itself. So I'm in the game scene. Now, of course, I need to do something about these main menu and restart level buttons. So that will be coming up in the other videos. And of course, as I was just saying, if you hit exit in the editor, nothing will happen. But when you build a game, if you hit exit, it will actually exit. Uh, it'll close down the program. All right, so keep on moving onwards. And thanks for watching.